So in the browser, and go to this URL. So activemq.apache.org. So here in the landing page, you can see the download link or else you can find download the ActiveMQ. So this is the latest version for today. So 5.15.4. So if you don't find this, you know, go to the download link. So you can find the latest release, go to the latest release. Then you can find the get binary, getting the binary distribution. So here you can find there is a two distribution. One is the Windows distribution, another one is the Linux and Unix distribution. So my, my environment is Windows. So that's what I'm downloading this distribution. So you can, if you are using Linux and uh, Unix, you can download it accordingly. So le let's click on this. We just downloaded Apache ActiveMQ distribution. Just go to the download path. So you can find the distribution is downloaded here. So just unzip it, extract ActiveMQ, cool that is extracted. So go inside the folder, go inside the Apache ActiveMQ folder, you can find there is a folder called bin. So head over to the bin folder. Now just open the command prompt by pointing this location. So now we can see that I'm pointing downloads my ActiveMQ folder inside the ActiveMQ folder that is a bin folder. So make sure that you are pointing to the bin folder, okay? So now you have to type a command active mq space start. So this is the command to start the active mq server in Windows. Just run it. So you can see that the active mq server is started. You now that is actually starting listening in, in the 8161 port. So just go to the browser open the new tab you can just type localhost 8161 just enter you can see the active MQ application is up and running in our local machine so if you want to access the admin portal just click the manage active MQ broker click on it so here you have to provide the username and password so by default, the username and then password is admin admin. Just sign in. You can see the active MQ, the management portal. So now let's create the queue in the active MQ server. So how to do that? So go to the queues menu. Here you can actually find the option to provide the name of the queue that you're going to create. So I'm going to give the queue name as my queue. So just hit the create button. You can see the queue is created. If you want to rename it, if you want to delete it, as of course there is an option, you can delete and recreate as you want. So as of now, I'm gonna use this queue as part of my camel application. 